This is a lyrical call to arms for the field of your mind where thoughts cause harm. A battle cry for aching ears that frame in the fight you have been losing for years. Nobody sees it, but you're a prisoner of war. The chains in your brain have never been unchained before. Your thoughts shape your life, so it has been said. But how can we change the decade-deep ruts in our head? The pain of the past, the grieving of losses, where loving has left us, what trusting has cost us. If the mind of Christ is really inside you, how do you get God past your skull to actually guide you? You want to think thoughts that are good and productive to recognize and replace the ones that are destructive. You want to think thoughts that are good and productive to recognize and replace the ones that are destructive. You want to think thoughts that are good and productive to recognize and replace the ones that are destructive. You are a warrior, if you can believe it. God's power runs through you once you receive it. When all I see is the battle, you see my victory. When all I see is the mountain, you see a mountain move. You have the helmet of salvation on top of your head, protecting your mind, dripping blood red, but not from the blood of some fallen enemy but from Jesus when he died to win your victory. His love is what cleanses your PTSD, what heals your wounds, what builds new memories. You are a thought warrior. Your mind is made new. The winning is up to him, but the fighting is up to you. You combat the lies with the truth of God's word which comes from your mouth like a double-edged sword. So listen to an old story from Matthew chapter 4 in the wilderness where Jesus and Satan went to war. Just after his baptism, his father spoke out loud, I love you, my son. You've made me proud. Then the spirit told Jesus to spend six weeks alone with sand for a bed, hungry for home. That's when Satan slithered in for the kill, to test Christ's humanity, to weaken his will. The battle began with a verbal temptation. Turn this stone into bread. You could use the nutrition. But Jesus retorted and cut through the facade. What we need more than bread, he said, is the word of God. What we need more than techniques, the Word of God. What we need in the face of temptation, the Word of God. To shut down the lust, the Word of God. To topple the pride, the Word of God. To chase away fear, the Word of God. To upend our hatred, the Word of God, to weed out our cynicism, the Word of God, to quiet our panic, and the Word of God. What we need more than bread, he said, is the Word of God. When all I see are the ashes, you see the beauty. When all I see is a cross, God, you see the empty tomb. 
The first temptation ended. Two more left. Satan led Jesus next to the edge of a cliff. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. His angels would never let you hit the ground. The devil himself was now quoting a psalm, but Christ responded with a voice clear and calm. It is written, don't put the Lord to the test. And the lie of the cliff jumping was laid to rest. The devil regrouped for one final try. He led Jesus to a mountain, to another lie. If you bow down and worship me, I'll put you in charge of everything you see. Get away from me, Satan, Jesus demanded. Worship God alone. That's what is commanded. Then Satan left, like he always must leave. When we stand our ground, he has to flee. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees With my hands lifted high Oh God, the battle belongs to you There was a 4th century monk whose name was Evagrius. He wrote a little book called the antireticus. It means talking back, that is, to the demons that tempt us and lie and try to mislead us. For every evil thought, there is a scriptural counterattack. He wanted the monks to know how to fight back. So he trained them in the methods of their resurrected Lord, using words as a weapon, the Bible as sword. He armed them with verses against the whispers in their ear of gluttony, of lust, of anger, of fear. He knew that these thoughts would lead them to sin, but with God's help and with God's word, they didn't have to give in. He wrote, Don't hesitate with Christians to converse about the reading of Scripture, book, chapter, and verse. Keep watch over thoughts which demons despise. Vigilance is a wolf-killing poison that threatens their disguise. In this battle, he said, we need the weapons the Spirit offers to trample on snakes and scorpions and scoffers. Antireticus, talking back, simply saying, it is written, turns down the volume of demonic temptation. And every fear I lay at your feet, I'll sing through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. So take cues from our Lord when those voices invade. Don't argue with Satan. Don't try to persuade yourself that you can't help it. You can't get away. As you come near to him, he is near to you today. He fights on your behalf the battle in your mind. The Lord is a warrior, both fierce and kind, demolishing the strongholds that enslave you and gently restoring the mind that he gave you. You have the Bible in every place that you are. On the bookshelf at home, on your phone, in the car. The sword is sitting there waiting and dusty. The verses you learned in Sunday school, rusty. Pick up your sword. Learn how to use it. Don't shy away because some have abused it. God's word is a lamp, a light. It's time to pick it up and fight. Memorize what is written. Think about it. Say the words out loud when you wake up every day. When fear tells you, sit down, don't speak, just listen. Say, I have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power and love and self-discipline. When pornography says, you will never be free. Say, if the sun sets me free, I am free indeed. 
when shame circles back around to shove your face in the mud, say there's no condemnation for me, I'm covered by his blood. When the weighted blanket of grief starts to smother your breath, say my Savior rose from the grave and he overcame death. When your past mistakes try to ruin tomorrow, say repentance leads to life and salvation without the sting of sorrow. When arrogance fills you, speak it out loud. God gives grace to the humble, but opposes the proud. See, it's not enough to force your mouth to repeat it. Words flow from the inside. Your heart must believe it. You shine in the shadow, you win every battle. You shine in the shadow, you win every battle. You shine in the shadow, you win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. By his word, he knocked a group of Roman soldiers down. He walked on water as if it was solid ground. He evicted demons, set captives free. He settled the storms that raged on the sea. He helped the blind man see the light of day. He showed his followers how they should pray gave a dead girl back to her father again. He had lunch with sinners and forgave their sins. When they challenged his identity, he held his position. When he was advised to run, he chose crucifixion. He was killed so that our old life ended with his death, our new hope inspired by his first resurrected breath. You are a son of God through faith in Jesus Christ. You are a daughter of the King, a child of the light. If Jesus is for you, who can defeat you? No lie, no curse has the power to beat you. Thought warrior, today is the day of salvation. Open your mouth with divine declarations. Think about thoughts that are good and productive. Recognize and replace the ones that are destructive. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees With my hands lifted high Oh God, the battle belongs to you And every fear I lay at your feet I'll sing through the night